Hey guys, have you ever been sitting in your car or maybe on a plane or maybe you're already on a beach enjoying your vacation when suddenly the thought comes into your mind, did I turn off the lights? Did I lock the door? Did I close the garage? This is the place where smart home automation can really start to help out because you can open up an app and you can check it and everything's good, you, you move on, or, or maybe you have to turn off a light, maybe you gotta lock the door, and maybe you gotta close your garage. But um, one of the places where smart home automation really starts to kick in and really starts to make a difference, other than just convenience, is with safety. And that's why today I wanna take a look at a brand new sensor from AOTech. It is a water leak detection system. Let's roll that intro and we'll get right to it. So guys, thanks for joining us today. If this is your first video here at Yo-Yo Tech, I hope you like it. Uh, trying to come out with a lot of informative stuff. If you like any type of technology, we deal with that. We tend to be a little bit more specific with home automation, uh, open source, that type of thing. If that's your game, then you've found the right place. Guys, if you haven't already, take a second and subs subscribe. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified whenever we put out new videos. And with all of that being said, let's get right down to it. heard stories before about flooding, someone who comes home from vacation, they open the door, water pours out, maybe they take a few steps in and there's a waterfall coming down their stairs from a broken or leaky toilet or sink upstairs. Uh, we've definitely heard the stories about someone who goes in and walks down into their basement only to splash down in a foot of two or water. And I think that the easiest way to avoid any of these catastrophic type issues with your home is through early detection. And that's why today I want to show you this new sensor from AOTech. Uh, it is a leak detection system. It's not their first generation. This is the newest generation of the product. They had an older one out before. This one has a lot of improvements. Uh, I mean, starting with just the design, it's much refined. It has the generation five Z-Wave antenna in it, which gives you much longer range, further range, as well as uh, increased security. It also takes over the air updates, which is nice because if they come up with firmware updates or, or improvements to it, they can actually push those to it. In the past, it would require you to bring it out and actually plug it into a computer using a USB and you'd have to update each one of them. So it's a bit of a pain. So the OTA is nice. Um, and it also has the ability to monitor the battery on this one. So in the past, you weren't able to do that. And ultimately, you either had to keep checking your batteries or the batteries would die and you wouldn't even know it. Now, this also has a power option. I'm going to show you in a minute. So we have the option for power or uh, battery based. And other than that, the device is fairly simple. There's a little speaker on the top, which is used for an audi audible alert in the case it detects water. Uh, we have a little button with a light ring down here and the button is to help you pair with your network um, and a few of the utilities and the light obviously just gives you some feedback on how that process is going. The back of the sensor has four gold contacts on it and those are what are used for detecting the water. So essentially you're going to lie this down on the floor and if there ever has water, the water will bridge the gap between two or more of those pins which will short it out and let it know that it's detected water. It's essentially how, how all of these sensors work. Also with this device, AOTech has done something that I think is really awesome. They have packed in a few extra sensors. So they actually have a motion or um, uh, what do they call it? A motion a vibration sensor in here, which will help you either know that somebody's moved it or tampered with it. Um, they also packed in a temperature sensor, which I think is really cool. Uh, aside from the fact that I think it's good just to have a temperature sensor in any of these little devices, it's something simple to add and AOTech does that very often uh, with their motion detectors, uh, other sensors that they have. I think it's fantastic because it's just one less other sensor you may need in that room. Um, 
and it has the vibration sensor. So if anyone tries to move it, then it's going to give out an alert. It'll also send a notification back to your system. So I think what that is fantastic for is, you know, let's say this is lying around and you had a repairman in to look at your water heater and he just decided to pick it up and put it on a countertop. It's going to let you know, hey, something's happened to it. Go check it out because obviously it's probably not doing what you expected it to be doing. Now, on top of that, they have also come out with a new uh, dock. And I mean, it's essentially just that. This device is meant to complement the sensor itself and it adds a few features. So the, the main one that it adds is on the bottom there's a spot for two little probes to be plugged in. You can see they have these accessories and they have a few different versions of this depending on the, the place you'd like to use it. But the dock itself actually includes just two simple extender dock or extender cables. Also on the bottom is a micro USB port. And what this will do is it actually provides full-time power to the device, in which case the built-in battery becomes a backup battery in the event of a power failure. Now, other than that, the idea behind the dock is that you're going to take this and mount it on a wall somewhere near where you want to use it. Let's say in a bathroom. Um, you're going to take the sensor itself and you're just going to mount it in here like, like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the probe and it simply has two little push buttons here on the bottom and on one of them you insert the wire like so and then the second one like so and that's it and essentially what that does is it gives you an extension of how it's going to do it so the idea is you mount this to the wall if you want to you can plug it in you don't have to you could still use it on battery and you run this off to your two different locations to, to go ahead and detect your water. So overall, it's a nice little product. You can see here, it's pretty polished. It looks nice and clean, unobtrusive. And uh, I think it's gonna be a welcome addition to, to my home automation system, to my smart home. So once you've got the wires inserted into the bottom, you've got the probe attached. And remember, you can do two of these if you want to. Uh, we're gonna take the dock, which is making a noise because it knows it's being moved. And we're going to, sorry, not the, the dock, the actual water sensor. And we're going to insert it into the dock. So dock, be mounted on your wall somewhere. This comes off. This plugs in. Now we're going to take this and I'm going to grab my handy little assistant here. And all I'm going to do is drop this probe down into there. And you can see what happens. Now, according to AOTech, they have gone ahead and tested this with a lot of the major platforms. Um, open source, you've got OpenHab, you've got Home Assistance, both it says that are working. You have HomeSeer, you have SmartThings. All of them have been listed on their compatibility list as working with it. I went ahead and set it up in SmartThings, and although it was detected and it did give me motion alerts, some of the extra features aren't quite there yet. I'm not seeing the uh, battery level and I am not seeing the temperature level yet. So that's probably just a little bit of an update to SmartThings. Same thing in OpenHab. OpenHab was able to detect the sensor, everything's set up and I can get basic readings from it, either open or closed on the sensor, but the full functionality is not there. These aren't really problems with the sensor. These are problems with the software just needing a little bit of an update to them. Uh, every time you add a Z-Wave device to one of these systems, they just need to update all the features in it and when the device connects, it gives it its signature, and then that way the software knows uh, what type of device it is. So as of today, this device is not actually shipping. So the fact that those aren't there doesn't worry me. I'm actually gonna submit a patch to OpenHab to make sure that we get that included into the database as quick as possible, and SmartThings and the other will follow right behind. So this isn't out yet, which is good, this is a, a pre-release, but I've been told that this will be released to the public uh, mid-February. I'm gonna put the link down below, it takes you to an Amazon page if you're looking to pick one up. As of right now, it says currently unavailable, but I'm hoping within the next week or two that's going to change, so go ahead and take a look. If you wanna use this with smart things, uh, it's really simple to set up. You just go ahead into the app, you hit the little plus button and you add it to your network. Same thing with OpenHab. 
Um, the only thing I'll point out with OpenHAB is you're going to need a Z-Wave receiver. So go ahead, I have a whole bunch of videos you can check out on how to set up OpenHAB, but you will need to also purchase a uh, AOTech Generation 5 Z-Wave USB stick. I'll put the link down below for that one as well. But for me, OpenHAB is kind of my favorite platform to be using this in. But if you're using SmartThings or one of the others, it should work fine. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I've got a lot more videos coming up. We're gonna take a deeper dive into OpenHAB. We're gonna start looking at how we can do configuring more files and how we can actually set things up on a more configuration level. As well, I got a bunch of other home automation products, technology products. Uh, started working with a GH5. I may do a review on that soon. So thanks for joining me, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.